Somewhere in a remote, uncharted region of a planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past, to plan for the future.
going to project back into the year 1520 and pick up Ferdinand Magellan on the view screen. Stand by. Ready, Jet? Ready, sir. Ready, in the lecture chamber? Ready, sir. Stand by. Switch. Ah! That's with the cycle reactor. Good. We're cracking the fourth dimension and projecting back into time. 1950, 1900, 1850, increased field output. 1750, 17, 1650, steady jet, we're going back. 1590, 80, 70, 60, increased corona discharge. 50, 40, 30, stand by. 1520, cut the cycle reactor and lock it. Go to the power, Michael. Did we make it, Captain? I think so. Stand by to activate the view screen. Text carrier frequency. It's coming in. There it is. That's Magellan's ship, all right. The flagship, Trinidad. Refocus to the deck. Let's see if we can find out what's happening. Everything seems all right there. Let's check on the other ships. Watch the plate current. The voltage is a little too high. How many ships did he have, Captain? Five. Let's see if we can bring in the whole fleet. Good. A little too close, Jet. Widen the angle. That's an odd formation. What's the matter, Jet? Something's gone wrong, Captain. I can't get a picture. Lower the plate current and bring up the rise time. Yes, sir. Now let's see if we can pick up the Trinidad again. Yes, sir. Okay. Stand by to throw the circuit breaker. Now. Good. It's operating again. Wait a minute. The picture's all right, but there's no sound. Micro. Yes, sir. We're not picking up any sound on the time machine audio. Check the main circuit to the sound wave segregator immediately. Yes, sir. What's happening, Jet? I can't tell for sure, but those crewmen are certainly up to something. Micro. Yes, sir. Did you find anything? Yes, sir. I shortened the tryout circuit. I'll have it repaired in a minute, sir. Hurry it up. We want to hear what's happening on board the Trinidad. Yes, sir. Captain, didn't the sailors in Magellan's time believe the Earth was flat? Yes, Jet. And they were very superstitious. In fact, that could be one reason for the mutiny. They're sailing where no man has ever sailed before. Stand by. Let's find out what else is happening. What in the universe are they doing? They're silencing the ship's bell, Jet. And that's usually one of the first signs of trouble. Why? Because no one would be able to sound an alarm. What are those things? Belaying pins for holding ropes. But they also make excellent clubs. But Captain, why would the crew want a mutiny? Mainly because they're starving. They've been at sea over a year, often living on oxide, sawdust, and rats. Besides, Magellan was Portuguese but his crew were Sicilians, Flemish, French, Africans, and ruffians from everywhere. They were suspicious of each other, and they hated Magellan. Man, there's certainly a lot of knife sharpening going on. A little too much, Jet. They're getting ready for trouble, and soon. Why are you looking at that coil of rope? I'm just wondering why it's piled up that way. Micro, isn't that audio circuit repaired yet? Yes, sir, all set, sir. Good. Captain? Do you suppose we could find Magellan? Stand by to refocus to Magellan's cabin. Watch the target voltage. Check your alignment. You'll recognize Magellan's jet because he's lame. months at sea, and still no sign of a westward passage. <sighs> what good are charts if they're wrong? 
is a passage. And I will find it. In spite of this treacherous crew. Enter! Well, what do you want? You're supposed to be on deck, at your posts. The men want to know how far you intend to sail on these unknown waters. See, for more than a year we have followed you into seas where no man has sailed before. You promised us wealth at these Spice Islands and a quick return to Spain. You have given us nothing but empty stomachs in despair. That is not all you will get if you do not get back to your posts. The men want to turn back to Spain, Capitan, now. See, we have searched long enough for your paso. Turn back now, Capitan, before it is too late. There is no turning back. We go on. What will we use to fill our stomachs? The trinkets and bottles you smuggled on in place of the food? They will be used for trade with natives in the Spice Islands. Ah, we will never reach the Spice Islands. You are a fool, Capitan General. There is no puzzle. You forget, Lombardo. I have my charts. See, but if your charts show the puzzle, why have we explored every bay and inlet these long months, eh? Why? I tell you, there is a passage, and I will find it. Find, Capitan, find. The men want to know your plans. They will know my plans when I am ready to tell them. By then, it will be too late. What do you mean? The men now have plans of their own, Capitan. Oh? Huh? Jose, the hourglass. If we do not find the Paso by the time the sand in the hourglass runs out, you will turn back to Spain. I will never turn back. Then we will turn back without you. Why, you... Captain Capitan, you cannot fight the whole crew. Get out. Both of you, get out. See, Capitan? But we will return when the sand has run out. So the yellow dogs would mutiny, hmm? Turn back to Spain, but fight the old crew. If only I could find the Paso. That sand was running up pretty fast, Captain. But John doesn't have much time. Isn't there anything we can do? I don't know, Jet. Unless... Wait a minute. But John has almost reached that passage right now, only he doesn't know it. Look. Here's South America. The passage is right here, and Magellan's ships are right here. God, he is close, Captain. But can he reach the passage in time to prevent the mutiny? Just a handful of sand could make the difference. Jet. Yes, sir? Stand by to activate the materialization chamber. I'm going aboard Magellan's flagship, the Trinidad. Yes, sir. I want you to materialize me direct to his cabin. Yes, sir. But what about that crew? Don't worry, Jet. There isn't much time. Stand by to throw that switch. Stand by. Spectral wave condensers are opening. Turbine activity is increasing. Voltage is building up. Spark gaps are closing. He's transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to dematerialize. There he goes. He's gone. Golly, I hope he made it all right. Magellan, wake up! Wake up! Who are you? How did you get here? There's no time for explanation. When that sand runs out, your crew will mutiny. I know. These stupid fools do not believe in the Paso. They would force me to turn back to Spain. You can't turn back. You're almost at the passage right now. Who are you? Am I going mad? Are you something of my madness? How would you know of the Paso? Because I've seen it. You mean you have sailed in these waters? Not in them, over them. Now let's sail over them. What kind of witchcraft is this? Captain Magellan, your time is short. The sand is running out. Mm. See, these yellow curs would kill me. Turn back to Spain. 
Well, I will settle this now. Wait a minute. You wouldn't have a chance. You can't fight the whole crew. No, but many a pig will squeal before I am through. Listen, if I can delay this mutiny until the passage is sighted, will you keep your hand off that sword? See? But how do you intend to delay the mutiny? Just don't start fighting. All right, Jeff. Take me back. The toy commences with me. Should what activities increasing? Voltage is building up. Box gaps are closing. The press coming from electrical impulses is beginning to materialize. He's coming in. He's in. Good work, Jet. Now stand by to refocus at the cruise quarters. Yes, sir. Rebalance the icons. Sand is falling down, Bombardo. Magellan's time will soon be up. See, yeah, the men are ready and waiting. Soon we'll take over these fleet and head back to Spain. And what do we do with Magellan? Throw him in irons? Don't be a fool. We cannot let him reach Spain alive until it is mutiny. If he will not give the order to turn back, we'll feed him to the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I only hope they do not find him too tough a morsel. <laughs> Jet, you've got to go back there and turn that hourglass. What? Why me, Captain? Because you're the only one small enough to hide in there and turn that hourglass without being seen. We can't let the sand run out until Magellan reaches the passage. I'm going to materialize you right behind that barrel. You watch for your chance to turn the hourglass. Yes, sir. Get your helmet. Up into the chamber. Hurry, Jeff. That's great. Come back to the rope, please. Turbine activity completing. Boats filling up. Box gaps are closing. Transforming to electrical impulses. Beginning to dematerialize. There we go. Gone. Captain, I'm sorry I got caught. That's all right, Jeff. 
The important thing is that you're safe. Yeah, but what about Magellan? His crew started mutiny. I know. Stand by to refocus. Bring up the beam focus and check the orc multiplier. The ship has moved a little off target. Steady. I wondered why that rope was piled that way. Golly, swords and daggers. Haven't they almost reached the passage? Yes, but they don't know it. Golly, I hope it's sighted in time. Magellan no doubt has a few friends who will stand by him, but I'm afraid they won't have a chance against this bunch of cutthroats. It looks like this is it, Jet. Mutiny! Stand by to refocus! He didn't, Jet. Magellan never saw Spain again. He was killed in the Philippines in a fight with the natives. But I thought he sailed all the way around the world. He did, but not all in one voyage. Step over here to the globe and I'll show you. You see, in his previous travels, Magellan left Spain and sailed east. All the way around Africa, across the Indian Ocean, to the Spice Island. Now, on this voyage, he sailed west through the Straits of Magellan, across the Pacific, and past the Spice Islands on his way to the Philippines. So you see, Jet, Ferdinand Magellan was the first man to sail all the way around the world. Greetings, fellow Z-men. I want to tell you how you can become a commissioned officer of the Zero Explorers in Time and Space and receive an official space passport and identification card. This passport entitles you to travel in accredited spaceships to any planet in our solar system. It also contains my official signature and photograph, as well as regulations for space travel and procedure for rocket ship blast off. Just send your name and address to me, Captain Zero, in care of this station. Your letter will be forwarded to my laboratory by guided missile, and I will immediately send you your official space passport and identification card. So, till we meet again, fellow Z-men, good luck in time and space. The 
sure to be standing by when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth, where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and space.